Mark chapter 6, verse 14. And King Herod, Rome, heard of him, Jesus, for his name was spread abroad. And his name. So everybody <clears throat> in the realm of Israel, everyone around the land, the land of Israel, he heard about this man named Jesus and what he's doing. He said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead. All right, so the name that he gives Jesus is John the Baptist. And he's saying it's the resurrected John. And therefore, mighty works do show forth themselves in him. So what he is saying is the work, John the Baptist, who was baptizing, preaching, the River Jordan, he's beheaded by Herod. He comes back to life, and now he has all these powers. That's the story of some of your superheroes. Some kind of big event, you know, they're bit by a bug, they, they enter into a radiation field, they're, you know, whatever it is. Then boom, now they got powers. Others said this is Elias. Now, this is where other places in the gospel, Jesus turns to the disciples and says, who, who, who say men I am? Some say you're Elias. And others say that he's a prophet. And one of the prophets. So what they're saying is, Jesus is one of the major prophets. Or he's one of the minor prophets. But he's not Jesus. The one who claims to be the son of God. So they outright totally reject who Jesus is. Because if his name is spread aboard, why is it, why is it, oh, he's John the Baptist. Oh, he's Elias. What's going on here? But when Herod heard, he said, it is John. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When we started verse 14, for his name was spread aboard. Oh, it's John. That's not the name that we're, we're talking about. We're talking about Jesus. And I guarantee of the six years I preached on the streets and in the public ministry, I guarantee the name of Jesus that I preached. I guarantee somebody went back and told, well, you know, somebody said I preached another name. I preached somebody else. Anything but the name of Jesus. Whom I beheaded. So Herod, of his own word, proclaims he beheaded G uh, John. The no, I'm saying it. He's risen from the dead. So the Roman Empire believed in a resurrection. There are cases in the Bible where there have been People raised from the dead. It's not a new concept. And yet when Jesus tells about his own resurrection, three days and three nights, I'm going to rise. His disciples were not there at the tomb. Waiting for him. For Herod himself had not, we're going to, we're going to look at the story of John and Herod. For Herod himself sent forth and laid hold on John. He went and had him arrested and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother's wife, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. And I can just imagine. And you just imagine with the royalty and the worldwide rulers, including America, this little sex triangle, hexagon, that goes on. I don't, I don't know the names of history. But you know, you got one king, he killed his wife, got rid of his other one for another wife, and this wife, and that wife, and there a wife, here a wife, everywhere a wife, wife, wife. So, it wasn't Herod that chased after John. It was Herodias. His wife. Nice woman. Already she's starting off on the wrong track. She has her husband, a 
emperor, empire ruler. I want that man arrested. Yes, dear. Jezebel. Oh, dear, you can't get that plot of land. You just sit there and eat your breakfast. I'll take care of it. And she and she has Naboth killed. She did. With her husband, who was king, stationary and, and royal ring. This is new, well, this is the Gospels, Jezebel. Later on, you're going to pick up in the book of Revelation. We're not going to go there. You got a Jezebel in the tribulation period. You have a Jezebel in the church age. You say, where is Jezebel in the church age? When you have your children out there in, in the church parking lot, in the church house itself, somewhere in the church property, you're face painting their faces. And Jezebel went and painted her face, the Jezebel spirit. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Well, Hollywood would not want a John hanging around. They would have him arrested too. Because there's all kinds of adultery. You know, you say, Oh, you know, hey, Stone, you got this Christian movie. Oh, really? Is there a husband and wife in this movie? Oh, yeah. What's what's the guy's name? Oh, he's Henry. Well, what's the woman's name? She's Phyllis. Is Henry and Phyllis, is that their real names? Well, no, no. You know, it's that actor from the television show. So she's in that movie. Oh, so they're liars. Does Henry say he loved Phyllis and Phyllis loved Henry? Yeah. Did they smooch and kiss and hug and maybe have a bed scene? Well, yeah. That's adultery. That's what's going on here. And we need prophets not to say, all right, here's this cute little movie. Here's a, a that movie has fornication. That movie has adultery. That movie is filled with liars. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Any man saved the law, going to stand up to Jesus Christ, saved the law, and they're going to get him. Oh, so you played this movie, you thought you were me? You had a few little, uh, you know, I don't know what they call the makeup artists come in, and, and Jezebel, you make you look like you've been beaten and all that. Make it look like you, you think you look like me? You think you were me? Oh, we had this cute Christian movie. It's all about it. You think that man is Jesus? The Bible says there's another Jesus. That's an antichrist. I tell you, you don't have to worry about Jesus coming and kicking the tables. Peter would run to beat all the tables down himself. <laughs> so that's the charge. Herodias was married to Philip, then illegally, wrongfully, sinfully became Herod's wife. So the only way for it to be wrong, it, I mean, there is a scriptural divorce in the Old Testament. Your husband can give you a bill of a door and send you off, though they're not Jewish, they're Gentiles. There was a Hollywood affair. No, it was a Bible adultery. The preacher steps in and says, hey, don't do that. Where today is Easter. It's a pagan holiday. And the preachers say, hey, service at 10 a.m., We may have a fellowship. Some churches, we may have an egg hunting contest. A gospel egg hunting contest. We may have ham for the people, though ham and the Jewish Passover, they don't coincide because the ham is unclean animal. On the Jewish holiday where they can't even have certain bread or leaven. 
you lost the whole context of what Passover was to be for a pagan holiday as Easter. I'm trying to say is you got preachers today in the church. Instead of John, they say, go ahead and do it. It brings the audience in. Bring them in, bring them in, bring in the church, the world of sin. John, you're a sinner. Boy, the church would hate John. Then Herodias had a quarrel against him, John. That's why they don't like the Bible. Him, his, her, had. It, it's the proper pronoun. I'm going to use pronouns. I'm against woke. You can't find the word woke anywhere in the 66 books of the Bible. So Horus, Herodias gets into a, bar, a, 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 a fight. I don't think physical. I don't know. Quarrel against him, John, and would have killed him. It may have been an outright physical fight to, to kill him. I'm not going to say it is, but it, maybe they got so maybe they got so heated in a in the oral arguments or maybe they went and got physical and she but she could not for Herod feared John so it, it would have been a legal matter that Herodias could have said okay put him to death and, and Herod the king <laughs> says no 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 Knowing that he was a just man. All right. Now let's look at the trial of Jesus and Pilate. Let's look at the misjudgment and mis court of Rome. Herod knows that John is a just man. And John ends up in prison. Because his wife said to. His wife would rather have him killed, but she'll settle for prison. Pilate knows that Jesus is without fault. And he still sends Jesus to the execution of the cross. You know, America's that way today. You know, a criminal has more rights than the victim. The criminal has a right to a lawyer if he can't afford one. The lawyer, I mean, the, the criminal has a right to a phone call. The criminal gets a ride to the police station. The criminal will get a public meal. The criminal will get a room with a roof over his head. The criminal will get a security force to protect him. The criminal will get outside basketball or the criminal will get television. The criminal will get a bed and pillow and, and blankets and sheet. The criminal will get toilet paper. The criminal will... Shall I keep going? What's the victim get? Okay. And holy. So John is holy. And he doesn't have this little ring around his head. The life of John is holy. Now John didn't go around having a, a bump, button on his, on his shirt, I'm holy. No, he lived holy. He was holy. So was Jesus. John ends up in prison, and Jesus ends up on the cross. 
And there have been many in church history. They have been just men and women. They have been holy men and women. And they have been brought to execution for the word of God. By a church. By the Roman Catholic Church. And observed him. John's life to Herod is he watched and listened to John and still has him in jail. Now, I don't know if Pilate observed Jesus, but you know he heard of Jesus and still Jesus goes to the cross. Both John and Jesus don't call in a legal council. They don't go protesting and rioting in the streets. They don't have a JLM, Jewish Lives Matter. I don't even think John, like Jesus, would have said anything unless it was absolutely necessary. And when he had heard him, he listened to John. He did many things, John. He heard him gladly. So John was a subject of justness and holiness that Herod looked to this man. And when a convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday, oh, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Herod and Pharaoh, happy birthday to you. The only two birthdays in the Bible, Genesis and Mark, and well, the, well, the Gospels. Herod's birthday and Pharaoh's birthday. On Pharaoh's birthday, the baker got hung. Death. On Herod's birthday, John the Baptist loses his head. Happy birthday. Job and Jeremiah are men that cursed the day they were birth born. So we have in the churches today, we have the Jezebel spirit. Let's, let's paint everybody's face. And then we have the birthdays where in the Bible, the only two places you find a birthday, two men died. Now, we don't know what the baker did. He upset Pharaoh. I mean, I don't know if the baker, you know, didn't put enough cream in a donut. His cake was burnt or it was the wrong. It doesn't say what the baker did. It just says it, it upset Pharaoh and he put him in, in, in jail. We know that John the Baptist was put in jail because he preached the truth and someone's wife got upset with him. <laughs> Makes you wonder, like uh, they told me at the, at the street ministry I had, every Saturday that we went, 911 would get phone calls about us. I wonder how many wives it was that called. How many husbands called because their wives told them to? He made it the birthday. You know, Pharaoh had a birthday. Herod has his own birthday party. You don't throw a surprise party for Herod. He had his own party. Made a supper to his lords. That's the lords of the kingdom. High captains, military, and chief estates of Galilee. You know, people who had, you know, they had the, 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 the mansions and the castles. And, you know, the uppity up big people of wealth and fame and honor. He had a birthday. So you only see the Gentiles having a birthday in the Bible. It's funny because the church, you only see Gentile celebrations in the Laodicean church. You don't see no Jewish feast. I didn't say holy day. I didn't say holiday. They're Jewish feasts. 
these holidays of, of, of the of the Gentiles in the Laodicean church. You can't say holy day. They got to say a holiday. The own, the own spelling and pronunciation proves he is not holy. And when the daughter of said Herodias, that's what we've been talking about, Herodias, Herodias had a daughter. I guess it wasn't Herod's daughter. Herodias' daughter probably was Philip, though maybe the way this woman was, but she had a daughter. Came in and danced. Woohoo! Come on, baby. We're going to send you to dance class. You're going to dance. You're going to learn how to dance, and you're going to get before you, maybe, maybe, your stepdad in the birthday crew. Maybe she came out of the cake. You're going to have to, you're going to do the boogie woogie. You're going to bounce, bounce your hips and, and move your breasts and get all around and get everybody. Oh, you're going to be on dance fever. You're going to be on, 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 uh, I can't think of the name of that program now. You're going to get there and the judges are going to judge you. America's got talent. You're going to be on, uh, you're going to be on a program on Wednesday nights when church, so people stay home and watch you dance, girl. You're going to be so young. They're going to fancy you up. And they're going to put you out there in the stage. You're going to fancy yourself, El Jezebel. Isn't she cute? You know what I mean? You know how many, you know how many Christians dance their little children like that? What's wrong with dancing? Wait till you see what happens. Especially the sexy boogie woogie dances and the outfits. It pleased Herod. Woohoo. Stepdad. And them that sat with him. The king said unto the damsel, so she's not even married, she's a young girl. Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it to thee. So all the time of Harold and, and Herod, Harold, Herod and Herodias state, and this, this young girl, of all the times together, this one time at her dance, he gives her a blank check. Girl has a check. It's signed. It's got your name on it. You just fill in the note section what you want. And you got it. I mean, your your mother, Heroius, and I, you know, we had a little fair outside of, of King Philip. Hey, little girl, we could have a little affair on your mother. <laughs> you never know. You know? Dangers of dance. Oh, it looks so cute. It looks so... Oh, yeah, that's what Satan makes. Satan makes... Satan dresses sin up. It looks so good. And then when, when the wages of sin pops up... And the tax collector and the bill collector and death shows up for that sin, it don't look so good. You know, when when you are in the nursing home and you are in the, 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 the hospital and you've seen so many smoke so many years and you, how are you doing, everybody? Thank you for coming to see me. <laughs> oh. 
when you've been drinking so much and you eat alcohol and you abuse alcohol and you got to sit down and tell your children, children, daddy's only, only 50 years old and I'm going to the grave. My liver is gone. When you guys explain to your wife that, that you had that little love affair, you know, adultery, fornication, and you guys explain to your wife when she comes from home from the OBGY doctor, honey, you know, it's where, you know, I'm only faithful to you, but I have herpes. I have crabs. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. You got to tell the truth. Many preachers are going to stand before Jesus. They don't tell the truth. I dealt with these preachers mostly on, on this Christmas and Easter thing. And you won't believe what their answers are. I had a pastor tell another that you know, the pastor calling up on you. He don't like birthdays. Want to open your Bibles to Genesis and, and Mark? He gives her, she had to be so good or so flesh enticing of the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh. There you get everything you want. He sweared unto her, whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it unto thee unto the half of my king. So she don't get the full kingdom. But she can ask whatever she wants. Boy, that's a blank check. Think about it. If the President of the United States or King Charles of England, depending where you're listening to this, or, or Putin in Russia, if you're listening to this thing, if your ruler came up to you and said, listen, Ask whatever you want unto the half of, the, of this nation, the half of this kingdom, the half of, of the country. Yeah, what would you ask for? She went forth. She leaves. <laughs> Imagine where she go. <clears throat> And said unto her mother, Herodias, what shall I ask? <laughs> now, the other Gospels tells us that this has all been planned out. Herodias and her have already made a, they purposely did all this. You say, well, why does Mark say she went to, well, what shall I ask? Maybe she forgot. Maybe she wants assurance before she tells Stepdad, maybe she's got a little conscience. I mean, I'm thinking of this girl, and I could be totally wrong. But, you know, like people think that Bash, she was totally naked. We don't know, and we don't know. It. Well, I'm thinking this girl is in a belly dancing outfit. I could just picture her talking to her mother, and you know, things are hanging out, and little things are tinkling and stuff like that. And she walks up to her mother, Herodias. A, a evil woman that's already occupies the kingdom of her husband by having John put in jail. Disney would love this character of this woman to make her the evil stepmother. But she's not the stepmother. She's the mother. Now think about this. You, you think, all oh, mothers are great. All oh, mothers are wonderful. We're going to have a Mother's Day. She said, the head of John the Baptist. You are going to tell your daughter you want a just, holy man without sin. You want a holy, just man without error. Recorded by the Holy Spirit and Herod. 
and you want your daughter to go up to the to Herod, her stepdad, and you want her to say, kill that man, give me his head. That's a mother. That's a mother for nine months, carried this girl in her womb, got the sickness, got troubles, got pain, couldn't do a thing, got the stretch marks. They didn't have the, you know, the modern drugs they had today, so she had to go into complete pain of giving birth to this child. This is a mother, maybe, I don't know, maybe she had somebody. She would get up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to feed this child. Anguish, I don't know how old this daughter is, but the anguish of, of, of raising a daughter. And this woman, this mother, tells her daughter, the sweetness is, according to the other gospel, go out there and belly dance there for the crew. Show your body, girl. You give a little flesh. Flash that little hiney. And now you don't get the ten, you don't, don't get the ten thousand dollars. Don't get that gold trophy. Don't get the blue ribbon. Tell him I want the head of John the Baptist. Well, I guess she was very limited on her powers. She's not completely like Jezebel. Jezebel went out and killed Naboth. No, no, Jezebel really didn't kill it. She had the people of Naboth kill Naboth. That's exactly what Herod is doing. Have... You go tell Herod to have him killed. And you're going to have a birthday in your church? Instead of balloons, why don't you put heads, styrofoam heads up? I know, let me say this, I'm not, but why don't you put nooses hanging from the, from the ceiling? If you want to have a birthday in your church. Let's have a real biblical... Let's put nooses with, with, with heads in them for your decoration of your church in honor of the scriptures. Because one man was hanged, Genesis. One man is beheaded, Mark. That's the only two places you can find birthday. In all actuality, boy, he's hitting on birthday. Yes, I am. Oh, actually, you only have one birthday. You know, look, he's 36 years old. That's not a birthday. The birthday is when you popped out of your mother. Natural childbirth or cesarean. That is your birthday. Every year after that, okay, it may be the, the, the you know, it was the, the 6th, the 12th, the 21st. But that wasn't the day. I was born, I believe, it was on a Friday. Well, how many birthdays have been on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays? Oh, wait a minute. Well, oh, wait. Now we're getting the date of Easter. It changes every year. How come the church honors events that are not the Pacific date? If you will use the Jewish calendar, you would have the Pacific date of the Passover, not the Roman Catholic calendar of the Gentiles. Can you imagine, Mother, turning to your dear child? Dad said I could have anything you want, I want. What shall I ask? And you ask for murder. And she straight and she came straightly with haste unto the king. 
She ran to the king after her mother sent her. This child, oh, cute little child there doing the best. She ain't cute. She ain't innocent. She's been brought up in her mother's shadow of a wicked female. Whatever age she is. Her mother brought, oh, what's the problem with their children? What's the problem with the children today? Her parents, his parents brought them up in that way. Why is it in churches? The cutest child, the one, oh, he's that great one of those, is the most riotous, the most misbehaved child. Isn't it cute how he disrupts the whole class? Isn't it cute you got to take him out of the church in the midst of the service? Won't be cute when the cops say, hi, we got Junior here. <laughs> Where did he go wrong? You didn't paddle his behind. You bought him a toy. Misbehaves in, in the toy store. Ah, 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 shut up. And you get him a cereal. <laughs> she read the words. Made hate. She ran. To the unto the king. Everybody's still there. Imagine, imagine all things. Woohoo, she's gonna do another, you're gonna do another thing. She's up to semi files, like she's gonna do another dance. <laughs> and as saying, I will. Wait a minute, who said? What she's going to ask for. Her mother said the head of John the Baptist. Look what she said. I will. That girl had just as much hatred for John the Baptist that her mother did. I believe she went to her mother just to make sure. I will that they'll give me by and by in a charger. That's not what her mother said. Make it cute. Put it on the silver platter. The head of John the Baptist. I will. I want you to give me John the Baptist. And, and put it on the charger, Dad. That came from her own heart. I wonder how pleased Mom will be when I give her what she wants, the head of John the and I'll give it to her on a silver platter. Ever heard that expression? That comes out of a King James 16. I don't even know what the modern Bible is saying. I don't care. You know who that girl's out to impress? Her mother. Her wicked mother. You know, you know how she could impress the king? You say, I don't know, father, king, old for We gotta talk later. Right now, get, get, can I hold off your, you and I? Got, and then she goes off and says, you know, her mom wants you to kill John the Baptist. I know. That would impress the king. And then turn around and say, well, I want the whole entire My Little Pony collection. Right? Wouldn't that be a little girl? I will. That's the daughter. Now give me by and by in the charger the head of John the Baptist. Mom said just get the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceedingly sorry. This is not him. That's mother and daughter. Sometimes as a step parent, you don't have the powers of the natural parent. Yet for his old sake, I mean, he, he put it down, the check, he signed it. And for their sakes, the ones that were with him, the party, he would not reject her. You coward. That's, that's Herod. Crucify him, crucify him. But what shall I do 
<laughs> I got Barabbas here. Crucify him. Let Bar Barabbas go. Oh. Okay. Take Jesus off and crucify him. You know what? You know what would have been really great for Pilate? Stay before. I believe Jesus is the Messiah. I believe that Jesus is the King of the Jews. I believe it with my heart. I ain't doing nothing. You take him. Have a good afternoon. Jesus, you and I need to go talk. Herod then would have been written in, in, in the book of life. Well, he turns Jesus over. Herod. I bet you Pilate was sorry. Pilate had a good wife. His wife said, let him go. Herod's wife said, kill him. Pilate, the husband said, kill him. Herod, the, the husband said, <laughs> I'll put him in prison. Yet for those sake and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. Immediately, uh, didn't me the king set an executioner and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in a charger. And gave it to the damsel. Oh, oh, look at that. She's still wearing her belly, whatever dance outfit she's wearing. And she's sitting there in the audience with everybody in the birthday, and you know, maybe the, the little stringers and the cake, you know, everybody's eating their piece of cake. And she's sitting there for, taking forever. Where there's eyes of those men looking at her, gawking at her. And the damsel gave it to her mother. Her warriors couldn't even have the gall to be in the room. <laughs> Mom, I got something for you. Oh, dear, yes. And a silver charger. Oh, you're my darling. Imagine where these two went for the rest of their life. Can you imagine what this girl turned out to be? And when his disciples heard of it, John's disciples, they came and took up his corpse and laid it in the tomb. And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. So they give, they give the biography of John the Baptist, give a report. And he said unto him, the disciples of John, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, rest a while. For there were many coming and going. <laughs> They had no leisure for so much to eat. Said, come here, guys. I just come over here, sit down, relax, mourn the death of John. And then we'll pick up next week. But there, there's an even more turmoil. <laughs> it's going to happen. You know why people don't read the Bible? Because the Bible is outright to the point. Here's this wicked mother. Brings up a wicked daughter. Well, you rather go pay money go see Disney do it. You rather go pay money to see Universal do it. You would rather pay money to go read a book. I mean, there's enough. For, I mean, I know. Okay. The, I know the Bible doesn't get into the blood and gunk of the, of the blade or anything like that. You don't need that. But your movies shows you. Your books, you read it. What the Bible leaves out, what, what, what could be filling in the blank, or like, you, know, you don't need to hear that. You don't need to see what the horror movies and all stuff like that. 
You don't need to know how much that girl was flashing her flash. Yeah, the, the Bible ain't going to get grotty. But your movies do. Your books do. Well, your King James Bible is closed. Follow your movies. Follow your movies. But that, that evil stepmother. <laughs> you think about movies? You think about who, who puts movies about evil stepmothers? They come out of the Bible. Where there's no copyright in the King James Bible. And they make all kinds of money. And it don't go to missionaries or anything like that. And one day they're going to stand before God. This mother and this daughter are going to stand before God one day. Herod and Pilate are going to stand before God one day. Pilate already stood before God. He's going to have another runner-up. 